Hello everyone, my name is Lucas and welcome to Robot Fight Club. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at how my Antweight Shufflebot Overdraft version 2 did at Clash of the Bots 2023, which was an event that was held this past weekend in Gastonia, North Carolina. I had the pleasure of attending with this new and improved version of Overdraft. If you haven't seen the original event report for version 1, that I competed with in Minnesota, then I'm gonna have the link to that down below, as well as a link for the build video for this new version if you're interested in that. Before we get started, a huge thank you to Chuck Butler, who was the event organizer, and everyone else who helped put on Clash of the Bots 2023. It was truly a great experience, and it was actually pretty cool because a lot of the volunteers, um, including the event organizer were members of Team Gruff or affiliated with it in some way and the robot Gruff from Battle Lots was there. I got a picture with it and got to meet some of the team members so that was really cool. My first fight of this event was against Mad Cow which is a beater bar style drum spinner with a welded titanium frame. Going into this fight I was told that this robot is very tough and usually places pretty high at these competitions so I was a little bit nervous going in, but I slapped on my anti-drum wedgelets and hope for the best. So obviously I know he's going to be a lot faster than me, but I could see right off the bat those wedgets were working great as long as I could stay squared up to him, which I did not right there. I'm able to self-right and keep going. Unfortunately right there, my spinner comes off because the shaft on the motor just completely sheared away. I found out that that is actually hollow aluminum, which is not ideal, but I was still surprised to see this happen because I went the entirety of the last event with no issues in the same weapon setup. So I'm definitely going to have to work on that for future events, but in the middle of this fight I was pretty sure there was no way I could win with no weapon, so my only hope now is to just hope something happens. Um, those wedgets continue to work really good in head-on engagements. I'm able to get right under his drum, which is very promising. I'm definitely going to keep using the setup in the future. Like I said, uh, this robot has a welded titanium frame, which was super interesting to see. I talked to the builder after this fight, and he is an amazing machinist. He showed me Everything he's done with the robot, it's all custom made with no CAD, which is pretty amazing. He's an older builder, and definitely for some younger builders like myself, it's kind of hard to even imagine doing that all with no like CNC or 3D printing. So that was really awesome to see, and I really liked his robot. But um, as far as the fight goes, you know, just I keep taking some hits. There's not really much I can do. The wedgets keep working great, but Without that weapon, there's really not a lot I can do in this fight. And I do end up making it to the judges with really no damage other than the spinner. I end up losing this fight by unanimous judges decision. As you can see right here, this is the motor. Uh, the shaft just completely sheared off and I lost the spinner. So I'm definitely gonna have to change this part of the design in the future. And then this is the wedgelet rack that I used with the setup with the one long wedgelet in the center. That worked really well to get under the drum. So I'm definitely gonna use this again in the future against any drum spinners I fight. But it's time to move on to my next fight against A, I'm walking here, which is a shuffling full body spinner that uses a walk as the weapon. Um, this was pretty exciting for me because I've never fought another shuffler before. So let's see how this fight goes. For this fight, I added the anti-horizontal plow attachment and put on a new motor, and I was ready to go. Um, right off the bat, I'm able to cross the distance and get some nice shots on him. His drive wasn't quite working very well, and his weapon didn't spin up initially, so I'm able to just keep hitting him. Uh, my spinner's going right through that walk, but uh, he has so much air, like an air gap between the walk and his, the body of his robot that I can hit it as many times as I want and I'm never going to get through to do any actual damage. I just keep hitting him 
and eventually he's able to kind of walk around a little bit and get up to speed. The builder was using an interesting kind of slip clutch design for the weapon that when he hit it would pop the lock off of the weapon clutch and prevent shock from going into the motor. So that was kind of interesting but um, it was made out of PLA and it kept melting so he would lose the weapon that way. So I'm just trying to get him slowed down here. And I do get the weapon stuck in the floor yet again. I'm able to free it and now he's in the corner. I get a few nice shots on him with the spinner, which thankfully did not break this fight. And he taps out. So that was a pretty fun fight, but it didn't really show me anything about my robot, so I was looking forward to my next fight against Helichopter by the same team. This one is a horizontal spinner, so I left on the attachment and put it into the next fight. My goal here was to just stay squared up with him and deflect him with the horizontal plow attachment. It starts working off pretty well. I sent him flying. Uh, he's deflecting off the corners of the shield, which is working well. Right there, unfortunately, something happens to my robot after that big hit, and my ESC for the drive, which is a dual ESC, locks into reverse, and I'm not able to control it anymore. It just keeps driving backwards. I don't really know why this happened, other than the ESC I was using is a cheap one from AliExpress. Um, and that big hit must have just caused something to happen. It was weird though, because right after the fight, I opened up the robot, turned it on and off, and everything worked just fine again. So I didn't take any damage in this fight. I guess the ESC just needed to reset or something, but it did fail in this fight, unfortunately. I used it for the rest of the event for some rumbles and grudge matches, and I never had the issue come up again. Um, so I'm going to keep using this ESC and hope that I can maybe either find out what's going on with it or um, hopefully the issue doesn't arise again. I end up losing that fight by knockout which means unfortunately overdraft is out of the tournament. This event was kind of frustrating with running overdraft, um, some things just weren't working properly. Having the weapon keep breaking was really annoying. So I'm definitely going to have to sort all those issues out. But I definitely learned a lot about the robot and I think the event was a success in the fact that I discovered that the robot itself is pretty durable aside from some minor electrical issues I was having. So I do think I can make some small adjustments and come back as a very durable and improved robot. I'm definitely going to keep working on the design and you know just moving forward with it until I start seeing the success that I want. On a positive note, I did end up winning most creative robot which was pretty cool and on top of that I had an awesome time at the event and that's really what it's all about. So I'm going to keep improving the robot and hopefully be back at it better next time. Other than that, be sure to stay on the lookout for more event reports and videos coming out soon. I also brought my fairy weight Gyro Walker Death Wish to this event, and I will have the video on that out very soon, so be on the lookout for that. Anyways, have a good rest of your day, and thanks for watching Robot Fight Club.